Good afternoon, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Mandel from Tower Day. I miss you guys. It's been a while. The weather's getting warmer. And I thought I'd read you a story along the lines of good weather and spring. Um, it's about some animals um, and it's called Sassafras. It's one of my family's favorite stories and I hope you like it too. It's about a skunk. I might get interrupted by my boys or my dog Leo, so bear with me. But I'm really excited to read to you guys. I hope you're doing well and staying safe. I'm gonna try and show you the pictures as best I can. I hope nobody finds me, sighed the sad little skunk. I hope no one is looking. There you are, sassafras, squealed porcupine. He poked his piney spiny head into the log and blinked in the darkness. What you doing in there? It's a little windy. Hiding, said the skunk. Gray squirrel ran across the top of the log. Well, come on out, he called. Let's go run in the leaves. You don't want to play with me, said Sassafras, slipping further into the hollow tree. I might, you know, make a bit of a stink. Too true, too true, sniffed Screech Owl. She sat high above the others, always on the lookout for danger. That little skunk can make an awful big smell. We don't mind, do we, Gray Squirrel, said Porcupine. We just want him to play. But the shy little skunk just lowered his head and said nothing. When Porcupine and Gray, Gray Squirrel left, Sassafras climbed out of the log and walked up to the edge of Willow Pond. There, in the still, glassy water, he glazed down at a sad reflection. It's hard being a skunk, he told the bullfrog. If I had wings like a bird, I could fly away. If I, I could fly away every time someone teased me or called me a smelly old, stinky old, funky old skunk. Hello, Sassafras, called a clear, strong voice from behind. Sassafras turned around. Hello, Poppy. You smell like root beer. The wise old skunk chuckled. That's not me, said Poppy. I'm chewing sassafras root. Sassafras root is sweet like you. Ah, oh, I'm not sweet, said Sassafras with a blush. Sassafras is just my name. Poppy put down the piece of tasty tree root and joined Sassafras by the pond. What are you doing here by yourself? Poppy asked gently. Your friends are running in the field. Nothing much, said Sassafras. I'm trying to stink up the woods. I'm not trying to stink up the woods. Oh, I see. Poppy's cold black eyes twinkled the morning light. I used to worry about that very same thing when I was a young skunk, he told Sassafras. But a skunk is a skunk. We are who we're meant to be. That stink is part of being a skunk. Like the stinger is part of a bee. Ouch, squealed Sassafras. Nobody likes bees. That's not true, said Poppy. Bees help the flowers and make sweet honey. It's their stingers nobody likes. Well, around here, said the young skunk, it's the stink nobody likes. Every animal in the forest has some special way of helping it stay safe, explained Poppy. Some animals blend in the forest. Some animals are big and strong. Some have teeth and claws. Poppy looked at Sassafras with pride. Birds have wings. Bees have stingers. Porcupines have quills and skunks have smelly old, stinky old, funky old spray. Poppy was about to say more when Screech Owl sounded a sudden alarm, bringing all the animals together. There's a stranger coming, she called to her friends. Quickly, quickly, everyone, hide. Gray Squirrel ran to the end of the tree branch 
and threw acorns into the underbrush. Porcupine scurried up a tree, shook loose several long spiny quills and sent them sailing down below. And Sassafras stamped his foot and snarled at the sound of rustling leaves. But when the sounds grew closer, the brave little skunk turned his back to the noise, raised his thick bushy tail straight into the air and sprayed two yellow streams of skunk oil. Bullseye, cheered Sassafras, quickly moving away. That should send them running. But instead, the woods grew still and quiet. Sassafras watched curiously as the underbrush slowly parted and Gray Fox, new to the forest, stepped forward. Gray Fox crinkled her nose at the skunk smell, plucked the stinky quill from her tail, and rubbed her head where Gray Squirrel's acorn had hurt. Gosh, she sighed. I only wanted to play. And with a slow, sad turn and a drooping head, she started to walk away. Please don't go, called Sassafras. He waddled toward the fox and put his soft, gentle paw near hers. We're sorry, we didn't mean to frighten you, but we didn't know who you were. I know, said Gray Fox. I'm not bright and pretty and easy to see like Red Fox. I don't make loud noises. I think your fur is beautiful, said Sassafras. And Poppy says your gray fur and quiet ways help you blend into the woods and keep you safe. All of us have some special way of staying safe. He proudly explained. Bees have stingers, porcupines have quills. And skunks, yelled everyone else, have smelly old, stinky old, funky old spray. You know, said Sassafras, as he and his friends led Gray Fox toward Willow Pond, we are who we are. That's the way it should be. Even smelly old, stinky old, funky old me. And that's the end. I hope you guys like Sassafras as much as we do here in our house. I hope you're staying safe and I miss you all. I look forward to seeing you again soon and I'll send more videos and read and good books. Take care.